I've got a hard question for you, but it is an important question. What are you doing with the gift of time that you've been given today? Like right now, I mean, before watching this video, of course, and after you watch this video, do you have plans? Do you have goals, dreams, aspirations? Do you have action steps that you are going to take to make the most of this thing that we call life? If your answer is no, like mine was for many years, can I tell you that we are thieves, that we are stealing? So I want to ask you one more time, what are you doing with the gift? of time that you've been given. And here is why I ask this question. We know that we are living on borrowed time. We have sayings like life is short, just do it, tomorrow may never come. But then we live in total contradiction to the sayings, to the mantras that we repeat day after day. Many times it's only after some tragedy much like one that I had myself, that we come to terms with our mortality and this limited thing called life. So I want to do something that I often say to my clients or my um, students when I talk to them. I tell them my goal, my job, my responsibility is to put the fear of death in you without you having to experience that near death um, moment yourself. You see, there was a time when I always thought that I had enough time. I had tomorrow, next week. I could get to it eventually one day. But then I had an incident when my time was up, when everything that I had dreamt of was over, when there was no more tomorrow. And that's when I thought that I was going to have this feeling, this idea of the worst pain ever. And that is, you guessed it, regret. So as soon as I could get back to this thing called life, I said, I'm not going to have that feeling, that fear of regret. I'm not going to live a timid life play um, halfway or to sit on the sideline waiting for my number to be called. And so that's what I want to do for you and with you right here, right now. I want to issue a challenge to you. And that challenge is for you to take full advantage of this gift that you and I don't deserve. This gift of life, of time, of today, of right now. To play big, to do something that is inside of your heart to act on that thing that purpose that you know you've been put here for maybe your goal your dream your vision is to change the future of your family for generations maybe it is to do something daring that in the back of your mind you're not really sure or confident that you can even accomplish but you want to give it a shot. So I'm going to be challenging you over the next few videos with taking some chances. My wife and I, were always working to push the envelope. We're trying to see how much can we get out of life. I'll share with you my biggest fear in all of um, life. It is for me to meet my maker and for him to say, Neil, let me introduce you to the person, to the man that you could have and should have been. And for me to sit face to face and for me to see a total stranger, for me not to recognize the man that God says that I was supposed to be. Here's my dream. My dream is for me to look at the person that I should have, could have, would have been, and for me to be an identical twin. For me to say, hey, I know you, brother. I identify. I just saw you the last time I looked in the mirror. Yes, we had some struggles. Yes, we had to overcome some fear, some hesitancy, but we did it together. And that's my hope for you. If there's something in your heart, I'm going to challenge you right now to take a shot, to let's see how much we can get out of this gift called life. I do believe sincerely as someone who almost went to the other side, I believe that you will be much happier giving it a shot 
even if you don't win, but you learn from it instead of not taking a chance at all. I would love to know in the comment section what it is that you're going to give a shot, where you're going to get off of the sideline and throw yourself into this game of life. This is the only chance we get. This is the one time deal. This is the dressed rehearsal. There is nothing else after this for us. So we want to give everything that we have so that we can be everything that God created us to be. I know that you have it in you only because I'm realizing that I have it in me. Share in the comment section what it is that you're going to take a chance at. I'll even um, jump in that comment section with you and we'll have a dialogue, a back and forth because I want this to be a community where we all grow. Be sure to share this content with someone that you believe can play bigger or that's inspiring you to play bigger. I'm sure they would be encouraged by receiving the link to this video. Make sure you subscribe, hit that bell icon so that you can be notified when we have updates, new videos. I want us to take this journey to greatness together. Most importantly, I want to remind you that I love you, God loves you, and there's nothing you can do about it. And until the next time I see you or you see me, don't be average, be world renowned, peace.